Steve, coming to you from Flint's beautiful east side, Studio 1714. Today we're sitting here with Danny from the Corona Road Bar. Hi, what's up? And uh, what kind of entertainment's going on, going on there? Well, on Sundays and Wednesdays we have Ed Bone Karaoke, Tuesday night's Dollar Beer Night, Thursday we have Open Jam Night, and Fridays and Saturdays we have Local Live Rock. Sounds like a great stuff, man. How long has Corona Road Bar been open? For 10, 27 years. How long have you guys been doing live bands? For about 20. For about 20? Yeah. And your Flint's oldest rock and roll bar, right? Yep. Where are you guys located? We're located at 3110 Corona Road, east of Ballinger. Okay. Um, so how long have you how long have you been booking bands at the bar? Like you know, like now this kind of lineup and stuff. You know, like the the current lineups that are coming in there. The current lineups. Um, well, we have um, Little Miss Dangerous coming up and playing uh, Ross Pacalolo. Um, uh, I can't think of all the names that we have going on right now. I don't even, didn't bring all my local stuff. But uh, we've had bands like Public Parking, um, Convergence Theory, Lithium, Last Warning. All those bands are going to be at Flint Fest, too. Yeah. I was just going to say them are the, say them the Flint, Flint Fest, Fest bands. Yeah. Now, you guys are also like the main, one of the main sponsors for Flint Fest. Yes, we are. So yeah. that's why you guys have been having all the bands there. And that's really cool. Okay, so what's up with the, uh, what's the open jam night all about? Open Jam Night is hosted by one band, it's called Free Will, and they bring in their equipment, and uh, everybody gets to come in and jam, everybody's asked to bring their own guitars, their drumsticks, and uh, we have the microphones and everything set up, and they can come in, everybody gets, depending on how many people we have come in, they get to play about three songs a piece, um, get them ready to, you know, get their stage fright out of the way, if they're a new band and they haven't been out playing yet, or, you know, they just come out and practice for a crowd, which is really good, you get good feedback that way. Awesome. You seem to enjoy working there. I love working. And how long you been there? I've been there for three years. That's good. You, you still go like looking forward to going to work every day. I look forward to it. I'm like I work tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> that's yeah. a, that's kind of rare for employees to have enthusiasm. Yeah. I love working there because yeah. the bands the bands keep you moving, and you know as long as you're that's, moving, you're good. So okay. So um, what kind of you know what's the environment like there? Um, the environment's very friendly. It's kind of like the Cheers atmosphere. Everybody knows everybody else's name. Um, you got, you know, you got your crazy people, you got your sane people, you got your noisy people, you got your love rock and roll people, and, you know, you got a little bit of everybody there. That's cool. What kind of impression would you want people to walk away from, you know, being at the Corona Bar? What, what would you want them to come away with? Um, that it was a cool bar and they'd like to bring their friends back and have another good time with us. Okay. Do you guys also have a website? Yes, we do. Um, it's uh, www.myspace.com forward slash Corona Roll Bar. Awesome. Well, sounds like we've pretty much covered everything pretty good, so we're going to call it quits for today. And uh, This is Steve. This is John. This is Studio 1714.